Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you exactly how to fix a very common problem that a lot of people have with ChatGPT content. Now I promise you I'm not sponsored by From and Teal. They're a client, they gave us permission to talk about their website and so we are using it as a way to explain a problem that we recently fixed in a live stream. Now let's first of all talk about how to know if you've got this problem. So you want to click on your blog and you want to go back to the earliest blog post and you want to slowly but surely check the indexing of your blog posts. Now I did make a mistake with this in the live stream. Some of them were actually indexed just under a different um, href language tag, okay? But I am still want to talk about what we're talking about in this video and what you need to change and what you need to make better, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So something very, very interesting about this, and I'll show you this right now, is that the articles that I have been writing for From and Teal are actually getting indexed. Now, they might be getting indexed with a uh, slightly different language tag. So let's do ENUS, I think it is. And you'll see this is... Sorry, it's actually the ENGB article is indexed, okay? So when you're doing this, make sure that you check all of the href language tags if your website's not set up fully. But what I will show you right now is that this article, which is a brand new article on this website, is actually doing pretty well relative to kind of the standard of this particular website. So 52 impressions doesn't sound like a massive amount. Seven impressions doesn't sound like a massive amount, but it is actually pretty good for, for, for this website. So if I, if I do new page and put blog, you'll see that in total, 137 impressions in the last 24 hours. So what I want to talk about in this video are a couple of things. So first of all, you want to see if you've got any articles that are not indexed. If you find one that is not indexed, what you can do is you can put it in a spreadsheet just like this, okay? So you make a spreadsheet, anything that's not indexed, you put into this spreadsheet, okay? But the thing that I really want to talk about is not just rewriting these articles, but actually changing the framing of the article, okay? Now, actually, the main point of this video is to talk about framing, the framing of an article. Let me give you a very, very good example, okay? So this URL here, the From and Teal Times, Chrono Green Crafted for the Bold and the Adventurous. Now, when I first read this article, I can't show you anymore because it, it's been changed, okay? It, it's, um, it's been put offline and then it's been redirected to another URL with new content, okay? So I can't actually show you that. And I am gonna show you everything that I did to do that, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So don't worry about that either. But the framing of this article was basically just a chat GPT framing of the article, okay? Which was that this watch made by From and Teal is really good for adventurous people, okay? That is not a particularly good framing of an article. And ChatGPT does this all the time, okay? So I can say, I don't know, give me an article idea for From and Teal watches about their green chrono watch. Give me five titles. Okay, this is something it does over and over and over again. Timeless elegance meets modern style. The From and Teal Green Chrono Watch, a new standard of luxury timekeeping. Precision and performance, a technical review. This is probably the only one that actually gives a good framing, okay? Eco-friendly elegance, maybe. From casual to formal, the, these last three have good framings. These first two have terrible, terrible framings because From and Teal is a brand, okay? So they don't have that many searches per day. So in instead, what they have to focus on is good framing of articles. So let me show you what I mean by that. What I did with this one right here, Chrono Green Crafted uh, for the Bold and Adventurous. What I did, I'll show you the exact process that I did to improve this article, okay? I went on Keyword Tool and I typed in Chrono Green Watch. So KeywordTool.io and I typed in Chrono Green Watch. 
Okay, so yeah, I, I what I actually searched for because when I read the article, I just watched the live stream back. Basically, it came up with the word extreme. Okay, so I typed in best watch for extreme right here, and obviously there are some pretty good keywords here. And it turns out that the watch that we are talking about, um, the the chrono, which one? Like chronographic watches or chronograph watches. Apparently this green face one here is very, very good with uh, extreme temperatures. I'm not sure if this is it's this exact one, so um, I can't remember exactly which one it is. But I believe it's this one here is, is good for like extreme sports and things. So what did I do? I reframed the article like I was talking about before, okay? There's nothing better than, that you can do than reframing an article. So what do you think is going to be better here? Chrono green crafted for the bold and adventurous with no context and no reason for anybody to click and no reason for anybody to read. Or something like best watch for extreme sport 2024. We all know what's going to rank better on Google. We all know what a better framing that is. So basically the way that I do this is I look for a better framing. So again, we can do something like um, moon phase watch here, which is one of these uh, here. Okay. So the current framing of this article, or the old framing, was Swiss moon phase watches navigating time in style. That is a chat GPT written title, if I ever saw one. Instead, what I did was I wrote moon phase watch and I clicked on questions. And I looked and I saw, are moon phrase watchers worth it? Okay. So again, tell me what you think has a better framing. Moon phase watchers navigating time in style, which doesn't, it doesn't have any juice to it. It doesn't mean anything. It's just, it's just words. It's just chat GPT words. Okay. Or are moon phase watchers worth it? Question mark. We all know which article has a better framing, which one Google is more likely to rank which one people are more likely to read and which one will actually give content and actually give people a reason to stick around. Okay. So what I want to talk about is once you have found this, um, the reframing, how do you rewrite the article? So as usual, everything will be in the description. I'll leave this entire cat history in the description. This is, uh, about three hours of me doing exactly this. Okay. So you, these are the four steps. You put the main keywords, so for example, moon phase watch into keywordtool.io. Click on questions if you need to, if nothing comes up. This tool, keywordtool.io, it uses Google Auto Suggest, which everyone knows is a really good way to find keywords. However, you can use keyword tool. You do not need to pay to see the keywords. People come back when I make these videos and they say, oh, you need to pay for the tool, but the keywords are here. They're free. You don't need, you don't need the volume. Okay. Who cares about search volume? You just care that if you go on Google, okay. And you type in R moon phase and then W what comes up R moon phase watchers worth it. Do you think that nobody is searching this? Okay. Do you actually think nobody is searching this? If you do, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Okay, I'm telling you right now, people are searching it. If it's here, people are searching it. You do not need the search volume, okay? Then you find a better framing of the article using keyword tool.io, and then you, you use ChatGPT with a very simple prompt. This one is just, take the content I give you. Do not shorten the content, but make it better. Always make a table at the top, then reformat the content using lists and potentially the tables. Do not remove internal links, okay? So this is exactly what I did. I just got it to rewrite the content very, very simply. Okay. Um, if you want to know how to get the content, by the way, if you're not sure about this, you can use, I'll show you this right now. This is a fairly new discovery on my behalf, on my part. Um, I needed a way to do this. You can do it like this. You can highlight the article. Now I wouldn't recommend doing it from your website. I'd recommend doing it from the back end, obviously. And then you go to paste to markdown. And then once I do control V here, you'll see that there are all the photos should still be here. Let's see. Yep. Everything's here. The table, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. It's just for some reason it removes the uh, heading tags on, on the top. But apart from that, everything else is here. So you get your article. Okay. 
and you just put it back into ChatGPT. Now, another thing you can do, because when I started with From and Teal, none of these articles had pictures of the products, okay? So you can also say, please add, please add these three watches as a list of the best Swiss chronograph watches in 2024 in the relevant place in the article, okay? So just before we go, let's talk about this. Look at the framing of this article at the moment, okay? There's, there is no framing, really. It just kind of, they're just talking about um, Swiss chronographic watches, okay? And if I go back onto the spreadsheet and do Swiss chrono, you'll see that there are three articles that are pretty much the exact same framing, okay? This is another bad thing that a lot of people get stuck on. They just frame three, four, five articles in the same way. Doesn't make any sense, okay? You need to frame every article in a completely unique way, okay? So, another thing you can do is once you've got the content, and you can see this was written by ChatGPT actually because it, it doesn't have headings even. It just has um, double asterisks, which is bold. This is another mistake that a lot of ChatGPT writers are making right now. So what did I do? I changed the framing of this article, okay? So the original framing was just wishy-washy. And what did I change it to? I changed it to the best Swiss chronograph watches in 2024, okay? This, isn't, this could now rank for Swiss chronograph watches, best Swiss chronograph watches, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm not saying it will rank for that. I'm saying that there is a chance that it will rank for that, okay? Then we added a key takeaway table, like I asked it to, and then it adds the three images of the watches. Now, I just repeat this process over and over and over again, okay? Reframe the article. This before was another one of those wishy-washy Swiss chronograph uh, articles without any real framing. What did I do? The most affordable Swiss chronograph watches of 2024. Exactly the same concept. I added the photos. One, two, this one didn't work. Three, four. Beautiful, 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 okay? That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. You need to be careful with the framing of your articles. You can't just frame them using ChatGPT, okay? There needs to be some juice to it. There needs to be some, some meat. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. You can read the description as well. The description is gonna be right here. It'll give you some more information about this as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.